I've saved something a little special for such an occasion. Don't be too sure, my worthy adversary. What say you to this? <laughs> ah, curse you! You are hey, part guys. of me! Kaya! Kaya! Wanna play a game of Mega Mecha Monster? Um. It's a new card role-playing game from Japan. Pass. Oh. Hey, Morgan! Wanna play a game of Mega Mecha... No? Everyone's getting ready for the big dance tonight, I see. You too? Yeah, I think we're renting a tux. I suppose you already have a date. <laughs> Several. Oh, right, cool. Still, I guess some people haven't lined one up yet. <laughs> Only the losers. <laughs> well, not necessarily. I mean, I don't have a date yet. <laughs> okay, bad example. But there still must be some available women out there. A guy just has to ask, right? So ask. Hey, Tanya. No. No, you already have a date, or no, you won't go to the dance with me. Take your pick. Blair, you know about girls, right? I've heard a rumor or two. How does a guy like me attract the women? A guy like you doesn't. It's an impossibility. Sorry. Oh. it's possible for a guy like you to possess something that attracts women. Explain. Well, if women don't like you, you can always distract them with something they do like. Something that isn't, well, you. <laughs> exactly. Money. Always good. A car. Very good. A cute pet, not as good as money or a car, but still pretty effective for short-term gain. Once you have them mesmerized by this thing, whatever it is, then you can go in for the kill. No matter how personally repugnant you are. Wow, the whole Donald Trump thing suddenly makes sense. Oh, hi. Yes, uh, I'm, uh, I want to inquire about uh, tuxedo rentals. I have a news item for immediate release. The dance theme has been changed. Again? Oh, I'll call you back. After much debate with myself, I have decided on the theme, Youth Aspiration. This is to replace the old theme of Youth Inspiration. Oh, is that Morgan on the air? I'm not a dress for an abstract concept. I'm on the dance committee. Try decorating for it. Morgan, I have a... <laughs> Efficient, isn't she? <laughs> Well, don't let me interrupt your preparations for this evening's soiree. I'm sure you have lots of last-minute makeup and hair decisions to make. George, shouldn't you be re-spiking your hair or something? You're looking a tad blunt. George? George! What? Isn't this one of those awful trading card games that distracts students from their work and causes schoolyard fights? These are the ones, as seen on TV, banned by 40 different school boards across the nation. Well, are we one of them? Nah, I guess fear and paranoia hasn't hit here yet. Well, let me remedy that. Uh, Consider them banned effective immediately. I'm confiscating these as contraband. You can have them back when you graduate, and not a moment sooner. Oh, you took my car! Calm down, Calm down, George. were you hiding in there? No, I wasn't hiding. I was just trying not to be seen. Oh, you don't want your date to see you before the big unveiling at the dance tonight? <laughs> I wish. Don't you have a date yet? No, I let it slide a little too long. I got distracted. Family crisis? Homework. Girl, you have got to get your priorities straight. I know, I know. I thought I could get a date at the last minute, but then... Then... This happened! What? This? Oh, Morgan, we've all had bad hair days. It's not my hair, Tanya. Why, what's wrong with my hair? Do you see any split ends? <laughs> it's this pimple. There. There! Oh, yeah. It's not that 
bad. Yeah, not that bad. It's huge and hideous, Tanya, and I think it's getting bigger. Well, what have you tried to clear it up? Uh, well, gee, let's see. Creams and ignoring it, nothing works. Uh, ignoring it is good. I can't ignore it, Tanya. I can just feel it there. You know, sitting, throbbing, growing. Well, there's only one solution, squeeze it. No, no, please don't squeeze it. That's the worst thing you can do to your skin. You're not skipping the dance over a little thing like this. This is the biggest mixer of the whole semester. No, I'm not. I guess not. I don't know. So all I know is that I can't go to the dance with no date and a huge zit. You can't? No, no, no. I can go with no date and no zit. Yeah, yeah, that I can do, because then I just look confident and self-assured, alone by choice, not by fate. Okay. Or, or I could go with the date and the zit, because then I would look blemished but desirable. It would look like the zit was no big deal, because here I am with this cute guy anyway. Right. Right, but no date and a huge zit equals pathetic wallflower, and that won't be me, no! Morgan, you can't miss this dance. I'll find someone. Yeah, yeah, somewhere, somewhere out there, there is a guy who has not landed a date yet, and he is gonna take me to the dance even if I have to wear a paper bag over my head. I'll help pick one out for you. Something stylish with plenty of air holes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, Blair. Fancy a game of George Goodwin's <laughs> Deck of Doom. I thought Miss Tall banned those card game things. <laughs> she did, but I made these using a regular deck of cards. <laughs> Pick a card. <laughs> Queen of Spades. Ah, very good. 30 hit points, armor class 4, attacks for 11 points of damage per round. <laughs> jack of Diamonds, I win, high card. <laughs> no, young apprentice. The Jack attacks for 15 points of damage, defeating your Queen's armor class with a superior attack roll. You are down to 50% of your hit points. You miss your next melee round. Pick another card. No. No. Victory is mine! The enemy has left the battlefield! Ah, yeah. Well fought, noble opponent. Oh, what's that? Oh, it sounds like the mating call the Burmese water buffalo. No, Blair, not Burmese. Indonesian. Eastern Java area, different inflection. <laughs> Did like you said, I got myself something to distract the ladies. Chicks dig instruments, right? <laughs> well, the music industry is filled with butt-ugly rock stars that have no problems attracting the ladies. <laughs> and all I had to do was join the school band and agree to learn Born to be Wild in time for Tuesday's pep rally. I solo at halftime. I'm gonna have to fight the girls off with a stick. <laughs> well, Roger, some instruments are sexy. Some instruments aren't sexy. For example, guitar, sexy. Bassoon, not sexy. Trumpet, sexy. Harpsichord, not sexy. Night trumpet, saxophone, sexy. Kazoo, not sexy. Tuba, not sexy. Very. Not sexy. I'd say out of all the non-sexy instruments there are, the tuba reigns over them all. Tubas make accordions look like babe magnets. You sure? I want to go with something obvious. Something the girls can spot from a mile away. You may not notice a puny horn or guitar, but this, this they can't ignore. Not if you're within a mile radius. <laughs> Down. Up. Down. There's no one. I'm sure if you keep looking, you're gonna No, find... you don't understand. There's no one. No one at all. Anywhere. Well, what about... I tried him. Taken. Oh, there, there's... Spoken a... for last week. Oh, you know, you can ask... Already has a date, and so do all his brothers. And their cousins. 
and their second cousins. From the freshmen all the way to the seniors who graduated last year, everyone is unavailable, occupied, paired up, going out, going steady, getting married, or otherwise not going to the dance with me. It's impossible that everybody has a date. You don't suppose they're all just making excuses, do you? Morgan, it's not that noticeable. It is that noticeable, Tanya. It has to be. It's the only explanation. Okay, listen to me, listen to me. It's not the pimple. Repeat after me. It's not the pimple. It is the pimple. No, listen, it's your attitude. You're freaking over this pimple, and maybe it's making you come off a little too strong, too needy, too desperate. Come on, I know you. You're gonna find someone, seriously. All this stress is only gonna make you break out more. Run! Oh, run! <laughs> No, oh, and there's no, and there's no one. Huh? No, no, Morgan, no dance is worth that. I tell you, this is not about the dance anymore. Roger. Hey. Hi. Um, look, I was just wondering, since you're always uh, free whenever there's a dance around, um, maybe you'd like to go with someone for a change. Someone like me, maybe? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on that one. But I promise I'll consider it carefully. <laughs> consider it? Roger, yes or no? Come on! Oh, well, if you're gonna put me on the spot like that, it'll have to be a no. Sorry. <laughs> Roger? We have to talk. It's the tuba, isn't it? You're really into the tuba. I can tell. Roger, why did you turn Morgan down like that? Don't you know how important this dance is to her? Hey, I'm just trying to keep my options open. Roger, you have no options. In fact, Morgan wouldn't even consider going out with you, even if you're the last man on Earth. But, you know, today is a normal, and you are the last man on Earth. And she really likes the tuba, right? <laughs> Roger, no one cares about the tuba. Then what is it? Morgan thinks no one wants to go to the dance with her because she has a pimple. She does? Why doesn't she just squeeze it? Roger, are you going to go to the dance with her or not? Well, nothing better comes along in the next... Uh... Okay. Okay. I'm going. Where exactly is this pimple anyway? <laughs> um, Morgan! <laughs> I've uh, been giving it some thought. Uh, and I think you might have had the right idea. Uh, I mean, about you and I going to the dance together. Uh, so if the offer's still open... Yes, of course, absolutely! I'm gonna go home and try on this new dress that I've been saving for a special occasion! Oh, this is so great, I'm finally going to the dance! With Roger. Richards. Miss Atoll, uh, you want to see me? Oh, yes, George. Come on in. Don't worry. This won't take long. I know you have to get ready for the dance. Oh, I'm ready. What do you think? Nice outfit. I see you've decided to go with the same ensemble you've been wearing all day. All week. No, not my clothes. My hair. I used an entire tin of wax to bring each point to a razor's edge. Watch. Impressive. <laughs> I uh, like the apple look. Very William Tell. <laughs> George, I called you in here after school to discuss this distressing card game problem you're perpetuating. Yeah, you're right, Miss Atoll. It is a problem. Nobody wants to play with me. That's not what concerns me. It's bringing these collectibles to school. It breeds competition, conflict, jealousy, even theft. Or so I'm told. Now with the George Goodwin deck of doom. You see, I've made my own game using a regular deck of cards. 
There's only 52 cards in the whole set, and anyone can collect them for just about 50 cents all in one shot. Ingenious, I suppose. Uh, how does it work? Well, first you gotta build an army based on attack strength, armor class, and skill attributes. Ah, oh, that's the three of clubs. It usually wins initiative and battle melees, but it has low hit points. Well, I see things have changed since I was president of the bridge club. Uh, tell me more. <laughs> Will you do some card? Looking good, Blair. I should. This tux cost me a fortune. Just as long as I look perfect tonight, I'm happy. Might I say? Mission accomplished. <laughs> You're right. That didn't even sound sincere. Must be out of practice. Guys, I still can't decide up or down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Big help. Tanya, Morky! <laughs> I want to thank you. Thank you so much. You were right. I was acting like a crazy person worrying about some a tiny little pimple. But I've decided that I'm not going to let some little blemish that no one will ever notice let me down tonight. I'm not even going to let going with Roger bring me down. Hey, besides, who says I have to dance with him all night, huh? 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 So, uh, you've decided to ignore it. Ignore what, huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, seriously, though, I haven't even thought about it since this afternoon. Oh. Man. That thing is right. <laughs> Back up. It could blow any minute. Ha, 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 Blair. Seriously, you should squeeze that thing. <laughs> Squeezing is the worst thing you can do to a pimple. Morgie, we've gone past worse. We've moved on onto uh, uncharted pimple territory. <laughs> squeeze it now. Because if it gets any bigger, it could conquer the world and enslave mankind. <laughs> well, I could try to cover it up. I could put on a hat. No, no, no. Better yet, a matching pair. One for you, one for the pimple. You can go to the dance as twins. <laughs> but it's, it's not that bad. It's not a big deal. It's just a little... <laughs> Who was that? Let's play another hand. Well, you know, Mr. Tall, I should really get going to get Deal! ready. Deal! Okay. Morgan? Go away. What are you doing with this? Don't blanket? touch it. Just leave it. Roger, leave it. What, what, what are you talking about? What do you want? I want to take you to the dance. Well, that's very noble of you, Roger, but I'm sure that even you aren't desperate enough to want to be seen with me tonight. Morgan, it's you I'm going to the dance with, not your pimple. Well, thanks, Roger, but uh, we're a package deal. Okay, then. I'll take you both. I'm not going, okay? Everyone's gonna be there, like, all dressed up and looking great. And then there's me, an alien pod growing out of my skull. You think anyone at this dance is perfect? Look at Tanya. She's been fussing with her hair so much today, she doesn't even realize she put on her lipstick crooked. <laughs> And then there's Blair. Huh, he's dropped about a hundred bucks into renting a sharp black tux and has no ID. He's got this big hunk of clashing green spinach stuck between his teeth. I'm sorry, Roger, but nothing you can say can make me go tonight, okay? Not now. Attention, Upper Redwood. Tonight's dance theme has been changed yet again. Instead of celebrating youth inspiration or youth aspiration, we're going with youth imperfection. So stop primping and styling for a minute and try going as yourself. The student with the most glaring imperfection will go home with a special prize, courtesy of Radioactive. So show off those braces, revel in those mismatched socks, and let that lazy eye wander. Because tonight, it's time to flaunt all those little flaws that make you, you. Just remember, you owe me a slow dance. You know, Roger, sometimes, occasionally, once in a long while, you're an okay friend. So, uh, should we, um, I don't know, hug or something? Hug? What, you mean like, like each other? 
Yeah, sure. I mean, isn't that the sort of thing friends do in a situation like this? Sort of? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, hugging's good. Cool. <laughs> okay, Roger, give it up. Oh, uh, okay, you're squeezing too hard. Ooh! My pimple! Could you recommend a good dry cleaner? <laughs> is the best dance theme that you have ever come up with, Miss Atal. I mean, ordinarily they're pretty lame, but everybody wanted to participate in this one. <sighs> I mean, just take a look at all of our original, innovative imperfections here. Blair with his um, tux and boxer shorts combo. Uh, Tanya with her conflicting hairstyles. And George with his apple. <laughs> uh, well, yes, well, of course. <laughs> I knew it would go over well in the end. So much creativity to express. <laughs> so who won the contest? The contest? Right. Uh, that would be Blair. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Awesome. What did I win? Uh, um, an original deck of George Goodwin deck of doom trading cards. <laughs> take those. <laughs> Unfortunately, this type of game remains forbidden on school grounds. George, you should know better than to traffic in this sort of rubbish. Perhaps a month of detentions and uh, rematches <laughs> will make an impact. I'll see you in my office tomorrow at uh, noon. Tomorrow? T tomorrow Saturday. <laughs> Detention. <laughs> And now George Goodwin is going for the world record of most impaled apples on hair. What? Oh. 